All right, we're here live with Bucket Golf. Let's go, let's open this thing up and see what we got. We are live with the Bucket Golf. Let's crack this thing open. This is a yard golf game. seen this all over TikTok, Facebook, YouTube. Everybody looks like they're having a really good time playing this. So it comes with everything you see right here. It comes with a carrying case, which is helpful because this is one of those games that you're going to want to bring to like a party or your friend's house or whatnot. This one is the starter kit, 79 bucks. How can you go wrong? Uh, it has a little tie here to keep it down. Once you, uh, whoop. oh, yeah, there went, there went the reveal, reveal fail. <laughs> there it is. I don't know if these are numbered, but that'd be probably pretty cool. I would assume they are. Comes with your, your balls. So why are they so much bigger than regular balls? Because it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be a yard game, you know. It does give you options to buy a different club, but right now we're just gonna use our own wedge. Uh, maybe in the future we'll get one of those clubs. So there you go, there's hole two, so hole three, that must be hole one, so. We're gonna have to go lay them out. Oh, dropped a bunch of stuff. Again, you never know with these unboxings what you're going to uh, encounter. So it's all a surprise to me. And that's why I think that people watch these things. <laughs> so I'm gonna play a round of golf, so make sure you guys are following. Well, there you go, you got your buckets. We got the rule book here, but we'll go over that while we play. We got your tees. They give you scorecards. Very cool. And a little pencil to keep your score. So we'll save those for another time. Let's go, uh, let's go set up hole one. And as you can see, this is all you com it comes with. You got your buckets. Uh, wait, should be flags in there too. I forgot about the flags. It's probably in the bottom. Yep, we got a little hole for the flags. I'm gonna drop the tees again. Here we are. Little birdie flags. Something just went flying. someone just drove by and threw one through <laughs> but anyway got your flag so that's pretty cool I mean multi multi-purpose for this one can use it for real golf balls too so really cool so flags doesn't matter it doesn't have the, the doo -doo -doo -doo, doesn't have the uh, numbers on the flag so no big deal but let's go set up a hole you guys are coming with me. We got the uh, hole number one. We'll make it pretty easy, seeing that we, uh, we're just starting out. Maybe I'll get somebody else to come over, play, to play against me. So again, you don't have to have a huge yard, just a normal size yard. 
and we'll go with a short par three to start. Okay, I think I gotta do something. It's, okay, I did not set this up right. Let me come over here, get my tripod, make it a little easier. Again, we're just doing this as we go. We don't know what we're doing. All right, my ground is like solid as a rock if you want to. Yeah. So I had to really stab that thing in there. See, it's like basically a rock. So there's hole number one. Let's go grab hole number two. guys got any questions feel free to ask but we got the uh, hole number two so we're not going to go too far out maybe we'll go one out and around so it comes back around I think these are just like larger pickleballs, but pretty cool. Again, have any questions? I just set up hole number one, hole number two. Hole number three is gonna come back around and that's gonna be like our par four. So that one's gonna be a little longer. So let me go grab it.
now we have to uh, put the tea box up. First leg had a little hot glue on it, so I just had to peel that off and then just stab it through. Works pretty well. Definitely slide it through first. I found out a little trick here. Slide through first, stab into the, jab it into the ground, and then lay it down. All right, we're back. You can see we're using just a regular uh, golf club for now. This is the one I polished up. If you guys didn't watch my videos, you're missing out. But there's our layout. So we got hole number one right here, par three. Hole number two, we'll say par, par three. And hole number three, a par four. Coming back. So let's give it a go. So the rules are pretty simple. Tee it up and stay behind this white line because you don't want to hit hit the line. So give yourself a good give yourself some uh, room so you don't when you go forward you don't send the the tee box flying. It should be a penalty, I think, in my book. If you hit the penalty, uh, it means you just are moving way too far up. So anyway, we got you make it in the hole. It's minus one. So anytime, even if you chip it in, it's minus one. If you chip it and hit the side, it's a hole in one. And then if you want to just hit the bucket, that counts as a stroke. Or if you knock it in, which now if you hit the flag, doesn't mean anything. So let's let's play this first hole. Just missed, just missed a hole in one. Absolutely just missed it. Played the break and everything. I'll have to play the replay. So this will be for four or two. Now I can try to go and make it in and get minus one, but let's see. There we go. Got it. So now we're, we're, we got one. 
because <laughs> we hit one. That was our second shot went in, and that's minus one, so you don't count that shot. So the first, first hole, that was uh, pretty successful. And so we got, on the par three, we got a one. So basically it was like a hole in one. This is another par three, a little bit farther. Again, it's, I'm calling it new rule, get back to golf's rule. You hit that, the tee box, and you hit it and make it go forward, one stroke penalty. So you gotta stay behind. So you make sure you do not hit it. I like that rule. And again, if you guys did not see my latest video on this one, we polished this thing was pitted and rusted and it was just a mess and we salvaged it. Really cool. Um, so, okay, a little par three, a little bit further, about almost double the length. We've got rocks in the background. Now, if you bounce off a rock and it hits it, it's a hole in one. So let's go. We absolutely almost hold it. Thought I was gonna bounce in. All right, so we gotta tap in. So this course is for three holes. So it's a three, six, 10, 10 par 10 for three holes. Right now we are one. We're one. So anything under, under 10 is gonna be under par. This is gonna be kind of tricky because I got a rock in my stance and we don't want to damage the club so we just fixed it this is kind of be chancy because the probably should have been below the hole and chip in because it's on an angle but we think we're just going to go oh, there's rocks everywhere we're just going to go for a tap it we can't i can't chance it i don't want to didn't want to damage the club i just I didn't want to damage my club. I just fixed this thing. This thing gorgeous to put, by the way. So we're at three and it's a par 10. So we're going to three and this one's a little longer. And I tell you, if you got a cool yard, I got some really good ideas to really have some fun. So you're definitely going to want to follow this page, uh, follow this channel. I'm going to get my kids out here. We're going to play some, uh, some bucket golf. I might have to fix that second hole because I don't want someone damaging the golf club on the rock. It does make it interesting because you can hit over and bounce off the rock and in. So, so far we're, we're doing good. We're uh, three strokes, par is 10. If we can get in, in and two here, we will be a lot under. So again, new rule. You hit this thing and you send it flying, one stroke penalty. All right, here we go. I should have should have brought my driving iron out. It's a little bit longer than I thought. Should have brought my uh, my Sunday golf bag. It was a little a little much to carry with the camera. And but here we go. I'm gonna try to draw it in there. Oh. Did not. Came up short, but it's nice. Had a nice little draw. Figured I played out to the right, it would bounce and get out. I mean, we're gonna have to play another round. This is super fun. And I like my new rules too. If you hit the tee box, automatic stroke penalty. So thanks everybody for watching. Make sure you guys click on the uh the links uh it's my amazon amazon affiliate sales we're gonna do this more but we're gonna do some really wacky ones i got one idea we can come out of the we're gonna come out of the chute here back back there and you have to we're gonna put the bucket bucket golf inside the trampoline that would be fun we're gonna have some we're gonna have some fun maybe put a floaty on this thing all right so we gotta make this for two 
to where we got one, two, three. We're we're lying four right now. Par is ten on this whole on this course. It's a par three course. Par is ten. Um, again, this is the you just expand this one. You could buy the nine hole one and just play it twice, um, or you just buy the three for seventy nine, and then you can always get they have a six version, so you can always add up to six, which is kind of cool. But I don't think you need any more than nine holes. Um, so if we chip this in, we'll be one, two, three. This is line four. We will have scored a four on a par 10 on three holes. I don't know. I kind of like a short thing. I kind of want to know, we'll see. Oh. So we get five, we're five under on our first round of birdie, uh, birdie golf, bucket golf. So I just, my, my whole one didn't recover from, uh, so let's play another round. That was fun. I don't know if we can beat that. That was a pretty five, five under for our first round of birdie golf. We're going to try a different perspective this time. Coming, coming at you this way. Yeah, that's my Jeep. Definitely don't hold it up here. Hold it down here and push it into the ground. It works so much better. You don't want to break it. Oh, course, course maintenance. So we have to beat our score of five. So we're starting a whole new round. I juiced it. Totally juiced this one. Yeah, look at that. It's like longest drive. Oh my gosh, I'm in another atmosphere. That was not a good hit. But well, let's see if we can make this for it. All right, so we got a two. Didn't want to go too crazy, no pun intended. So we're at two right now, we have to beat five. Five was our last score, I don't know, that was a pretty impressive score. Again, my new get back to golf rules are, if you hit that tee box and send it flying, it's a one stroke penalty. So I've seen a lot of people do it, kind of, they give it a, I don't like, I like there's gotta be some penalty. All right, here we go. We said we were gonna change this hole, but we didn't. We're gonna kinda of try to cut it in, have it bounce. Maybe don't, probably should leave it low to the hole if I'm gonna miss. And then we have an opportunity to stay. Oh. That was a little too much cut. That was a little too much cut. We have too much cut on that one. But we have a very good opportunity because we're below, up below the hole. We got a really good opportunity to make this seeing that we're below the hole and the bucket's kind of facing us. Now you can fix your lie as long as you can prove you're not lying because I don't want to hit a rock. There's lots of rocks in there. Going for it in. Nope. We just got the two. So we're four. First round was a five. We're not doing as good as the first round. So we got our par four here. Last time I left it a little short. Uh, Thanks for everybody clicking on my links. Make sure you guys are following. We're going to play more.
get some people in here, have a good time. And this is definitely a fun party game. Um, again, my, my little tip is when you're stabbing the flags in the ground, if you have a hard ground, make sure you hold the bottom of it so you don't crack the... I didn't crack one yet, but I could see how someone could. definitely not a good placement because we need to make this in it was one two yeah we needed to hold that out to win well we'll have to play another round then but my best score so far five under so make this we will be one two three four five if I make this, this will be a five. We'll tie. We gotta go for it. We gotta go for it. Make this and ties it. Seven. Was... We were still three under, but not five under. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go one more round. What do you guys think? Super fun. Thanks for everybody. Thanks for clicking the links. I appreciate that. Every little bit helps. Make sure you follow. Um, but we're going back to hole number one here. These balls hold up pretty well, and I'm using a you know a real golf club so I might actually get to use a different club something with a little less loft might help quiet on the tee and we get the hole in one we get the hole in one. So that's a one. That's not bad. That's a much better start than the second round. So we got hole in one so far. So that's a one. forever in my live stream now thank you <laughs> my daughter just got her permit so all right so we're going for hole number two so we got three strokes so far on the last on the last hole here we go this will be it so make sure you guys are following if you're still watching and maybe we'll get some more people out here to play. Um, again, hit up all my social medias and all that stuff. Pretty easy to find. So, we got... We got the par four. We just got to get there in two to tie for the best round yet. Or drop it in for a hole in one right here or knock it in the bucket for a four. So let's go. Here we go. Gotta make sure it's 
left of the hole we miss. I'm going to draw it in there. Oh, shanked it. Really bad. It did not come back way out to the right. That was a terrible shot. Kind of, I didn't shank it, but it wasn't a good shot. Really thought that thing was going to spin back. But I didn't want to go out that far. All right, here we go. This is, we're going to have to go for this shot. Dude, I'm telling you, I might never play golf again. I'm just going to play bucket golf. It is super fun. Came up, came up short, so five is still the best. We were just four under for that round. Should we play one more round? What do we think? All right, let's do one more. Everybody's inside. Let's see if we can get one more round in. Five under is our best round so far. That one was very close. I said I was going to leave, but one more round. A little too much bite, a little too much bite, but a good shot. You can really spin this ball, so. All right, we just tap this in for a two. it but we got it back so it's minus so it's one minus one so we missed it on two so we're two we're at two because three would have been yeah so we're two strokes that was a huge save Sticks it pretty tight. We can go for we can go for the bucket on this one. We're in good position. So make sure you guys are following. Again, gotta get me in. I gotta talk to the guys at I range. Get a little I range going here. <clears throat> so we make this. We'll still be at two. Or we'll be at three. Oh, we got it. Ooh. It's nuz. It's it's nestling, literally touching. So if you guys don't think I, I got it in, I got it in. A little off to the right, but it came back. Whew. A little spin. A little spin action. So we're at four. Four? So that was one. Yeah, we're at. That was four. So this, we got to make it out there and chip it in for a five or get a hole in one to win we need a hole in one to win i mean in the bucket to win Pressure was on and I choked. I chunk, chunky monkeyed it. That was bad. So now we're in trouble. Now we gotta hit the bucket just to. Now we gotta, we gotta put it in. Gotta go in. Gotta go in. Oh. Not close. 
was not close at all. But we're gonna tap in for a four under round at Bucket Golf. So we can try and sneak it in. So we, we chipped it in and that was four under. That was, we needed that one for four under. Wow, that was, that was pretty sick. I'll tell you, the flagstick really helps. Um, hitting the flagstick does not matter. I really wanted to get a hole in one. So I think we're gonna play another round. I don't care. This is too much fun. This is the whole point of this game. Go out and play. Make sure you guys are following. Click the links. No pun intended with the links. This one, we gotta get a hole in one. This one's gotta be a whole one. Hmm. Had the spin, did not have the bounce. So close. We're gonna try and though we make this in, it'll just be one stroke. Oh, didn't get it. So we're at two. Two on the whole two. Thanks everybody for watching. Make sure you guys are following. Our best round was five under so far. Two par threes and a par four. Could it be? Oh. That thing really spun. Too much spin. We're gonna have to try and make this. Our lovely backyard scenery. We're gonna have to try to make this. Yeah. No harm, no foul. Chipped it in. No harm, no foul. We chipped it in, so that was a two. Because you chip it in, you minus one. So the basically the stroke you just took doesn't count. So we are four. <clears throat> nope. We're at three. 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 Score is three. We need to knock this down and chip it in for a four. That'll be six under. That'll be our best round. Our best round would be six. Five. Our best round that round is five under. Way too much backspin on that. I'm telling you, I think I'm going to need multiple clubs for this course. Way too much backswing, back backspin. That thing, that thing hit and spun all the, but spun 20 feet back. That was not good at all. But make sure you guys are clicking on my link. Super fun. I'm basically showing you how to play bucket golf. Showed you the whole unboxing, what you get. Super fun. So now we just gotta now we just gotta try to hit the bucket. Oh it didn't kick. It didn't kick. 
How did that not kick? I thought that was thing. It's supposed to kick to the left. It did not. But we can try to chip it in. And then we erase this and it will be five. We'll tire for our best score. tied for our best score five another five under round absolutely fantastic what do you guys think should we play another round i got everybody everybody oh everybody's now watching that is super fun and you can use that again you can use the clubs they have clubs especially made for this probably a little easier because you, you will shank it it on these this club's a little bit small look at the size of the ball to to the club so you got to be pretty accurate with your own clubs but yeah pretty cool all right we'll do one more round god Let's see if we can beat five under that would be the course record for this course of course i don't know how i'm going to remember each course but it's not like i can go rebuild it each time perfectly so keep playing for that kick and it's not kicking it did not kick I'm gonna have to try to sink this Just the two. So we got two so far on this hole. That one I definitely gotta gotta get a one on that hole. So I'm gonna try to take a little less spin on this thing. Oh wait, shake it. Nope, good. I wanted to be out to the right. That was a little too much to the right. Oh, helicopters. They're coming for me. Gotta be careful of the rock. What a shot, what a shot. So we're at three strokes so far. You guys saw it live, pressure was on. If you can't bucket, right? Uh, that was, see these are the things you're gonna remember too, the amazing shots. You're not gonna remember the bad ones, just like real golf. All right, here we go. Last hole. Three strokes, we need to get it down and chip it in for six under. Can we do it? Can we do it? That was a pretty good shot. We got a chance at beating the course record. Or course record's five under. We knock this in, in the hole. We will be six under par. And a new backyard golf, bucket golf world record.
Now again, just uh, to make sure that I can't play everything that lies here. There's rocks here on my backyard, so I do not want to damage my club. Uh, do never damage your club. And you'll not just damage a glove, you can actually hurt your wrist or, you know, hurt something like a forearm. It's not worth it. Just roll it over. Now, if you're like by the beach and you have sandy soil, you should be good to go. So we need to make this for six under par. Has to go in the hole. It does not go in, but we do shoot five under par, so we tied our world record. Again, checking out hole number one, hole number two. Should we play another round? Everybody, every time I finish a round, I get more people coming in. So it's fire, guys! Absolute fire. I'm telling you, make it, making it in the bucket is probably the more, most satisfying thing. Definitely should try a hole-in-one thing. Definitely should figure out some way I should probably just set one up and do a marathon of just hole-in-ones. probably turn the camera around so I could see where I'm shooting but yeah should we play another round thanks everybody you got six people clicked on my links I appreciate it um, maybe we'll just play one more round one more round here we go I didn't want to disrupt my maybe we'll go backwards play a backwards round let's do that we're gonna play three two one we're going back even though it's I set this up so you just go right from one hole to the next but we're gonna play backwards as uh, my neighbor's watering her flowers, I don't want to. I don't want to be disrespectful. Put her on camera for no reason. So I was hoping my kids came out, but I guess they don't want to play either. I think I feel like I need more clubs, not just a wedge. There we go. See if we can make a hole one. Oh, it's too high. Oof. See, that was that was the draw I wanted the last time. I did not get it. That was that was really that was juiced. So super fun. Can't wait to get the family out here. Might have to get them some of those plastic clubs. There's no wind today, so it makes it a little bit easier. So we're playing it backwards. This is a par four. So I think I'm having problems with the wedge is that wasn't too much spin on it. So when it comes in, it doesn't jump forward. All right, we gotta make this in the hole for a two. Nope. Just a three. Uh, let's walk it back to two. Just a three on that one. Thanks for everybody clicking my uh, links and giving me some likes. Again, I'm just starting out. 
every little bit helps um it's like a real this is not a joke this is like a real full-time job so uh please if you could help me out follow if you like the content we'll be doing more like this because it seems to be very enjoyable for people so we got our own another part three here we go no oh we shanked it that's the one thing about these clubs it's the ball is like twice the size of the head so you can really if you don't aim off the toe you can get a shankopotamus we want a chipopotamus not a shankopotamus uh oh we're in trouble we're in deep trouble we might not even have a shot here folks this is more compelling than what's on tv for golf this is this is intense Checks up. We gotta make this in. Nope. Those close ones are tough. We're drawing. That was a tough one. So we're gonna start back. New round. We were just kind of making sure we get a little time between the uh, the foursome in front of us, you know. So. Thanks for all the clicks. Six item clicks. That's the highest I've had yet to date. Yes, and if anybody's wondering, I am sporting the chip upon this. I'm trying to get them on Amazon. Right, here we go. We gotta get a hold one. That's a whole one, folks. That's one stroke. There's one. That is a nice, that's a nice, that's a keeper. So we're one stroke. Gotta, gotta capitalize on the short ones. If we made it in the bucket, it would have been a minus one. But right now it's just one stroke. Back to back home ones. Oh my god. I don't think it touched. I don't think it hit, but that was beautiful. That was absolutely uh, another great shot. But we're not going to be able to chip it in though. We're too close. Unless I do a Mondo flop shot, but that could go really wrong really good that can go bad really fast so oh, we're gonna try we don't have any grass underneath. nope just almost impossible so we get a two we get a two 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 give me two so thanks for the clicks thanks for the likes um right now we are three strokes in and seven under par the par is 10 on this short three hole course so and every time i think i'm leaving another person hops in so i'm gonna move back in the t box and really give this one a run see how far go in go in oh my god it just bounced right over the hole I don't know how that didn't go in. I don't know how it looked on camera either. Oh man, that just literally almost buck, almost knocked that in. We took the first full swing and that was, oh, I mean, I wanna do that again. I will definitely have to try to make this. So that was 
we were seven under that was our fourth shot if we make this we will be six under and break the record the course record can we do it We did it. We broke the course record. Six under par. Drains it. Maybe the best hole I've had yet. I don't even want to end. I want to keep playing. I love my little course back here. Absolutely fantastic, guys. Totally worth it. Travel ready. Comes with flags. Six golf balls, and they're all different colors, so everybody gets one ball. Um, it does not... The, the, the three... These kits do not come with a club, but they do sell these clubs at other places. I can't say they're on Amazon too. Uh, it'll probably say suggested. It's like a little big, it's like a big giant wedge. It looks like a clown shoe. So it's pretty cool, but yeah, unbelievable. The wind's starting to pick up. That was a great, that was a great round. Absolutely super fun. Six people click the links would be fantastic if I got six sales, but I don't, I'm not looking. So we got two clicks on the six hole one and four clicks on the three. I would definitely get the three if I was going to say anything. Like I said, there's, this is what I've been using. I got to get an eye range. So the par four is pretty far. And we just, uh, we just got a one on it. So the par four's got a good shot. It's a full shot. I don't know why I wasn't taking a full shot. Um, par two three-quarter shot this par one just a chip shot so thanks everybody for following and liking and having a fun time i really enjoyed it we're going to do this again soon so make sure you follow i love you all peace